what's required for you to be effective in logistics distribution? Te technical skills. Um, so, despite the, you know the proliferation of a lot of the technology and stuff, um, I tell people all the time I made a career out of little common sense. Um, stop, think, think about what happens next and next and next. Um, so you know. The other types of skills, understanding SAP, how it all interacts, and those types of things are, are important. Um, the, you know, the, the spreadsheet skills and those, but it's really about um, going in and asking questions, finding out what all the moving parts are, and then looking two or three steps ahead down the street. Okay. Um, I would say I think a couple things. Um, with demand planning, you have to be detail oriented. Um, you cannot be content with the superficial. Um, you have to really understand what the forces are behind the numbers, right? So, um, is it the price point? Is it the distribution? Um, what has changed last year to this year? Um, you have to ask questions. Um, not be afraid to grill people when you need to do that. It's probably an informal word to use, but um, but that. I think I would say you have to be, uh, another thing, um, you have to be able to recognize trends and data and numbers um, quickly. Uh, so that's kind of what I would say. And then another thing too, when it comes to um, cross-functional collaboration, you have to be able to influence individuals, um, work well with individuals. Communication skills are extremely important. You have to be likable. I, I, I was told that once and it's like, wow, but it's true, you have to be like, well, especially when you uh, depend on others, right, to acquire information that you need to include in your plan. So that's what I would probably say. Chair, uh, same, 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 um, same with Sherry saying that you have to be, uh, your technical skills have to be, uh, you have to know how to use the tools. Much of what we do is forward planning in supply chain. You have to match supply against demand. So you have to, um, if you don't have, to, you have to be able to best use the tools that are at your disposal or uh, be able to develop the processes and, um, and those processes and, uh, and tools that are, will make you successful at your job. So um, the, the technical skills that you got is, is um, it has to be, it to be decent, re reasonably decent in math in, in, in what I'm doing. Um, you have to know your equipment and, and your and the companies that the, the uh, manufacturing facilities that you're working with, and um, you have to be able to communicate that effectively to uh, to the larger group so they you build expectations on what they're going to get. Okay. So from the procurement perspective, um, the most important technical skill is to market knowledge, understanding the market, understanding what means crude oil is today 50, tomorrow is 45, what that means for the company in regards to the number, financial, understanding financial P&Ls, what, what is the, if something happened in my cost of the, of the material, what that means at the end, the margin. Uh, also the analytics, trying to understand analytics, sometimes you receive a big spreadsheet with hundreds of, of numbers, so try, um, convert those numbers to one chart in PowerPoint is, is very important, and it saves a lot of time, too. Thank you.